Father, we thank you for, for Linda, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, I thank you that, Lord, you have put such spunk and a spunk spirit in her, Lord. God, that she looks at a mountain and she says, you know what? I can do that. She looks at a hurdle and she says, you know what? I can get over that. Lord, there's been things that have come into her life, but Lord, she's never looked at them and backed away, but more so she's ran after it. And so Father, I thank you that Lord, you are taking her into a season that Lord, just as you, God, prepared Esther, Lord, you took her into the inner courts, God, Lord, that she was prepared. She was prepared to go into the, before the King, Lord, that you're preparing Linda to go before you and to be used by you. There's an anointing upon her, Lord. Lord, she's always attracted other women to her. Lord, she's always attracted girls to her and her girlfriends have always told her everything they were struggling with and yet she always could grasp a bit of wisdom to speak into their life. Lord, you've anointed her, God, to be that voice of reason. Lord, she doesn't tell them what they want to hear, but Lord, she's always been that young lady that tells them what they need to hear. And so, Father, I thank you that you are preparing her for such a time as this that, God, you're calling her to go deeper. You're calling her to seek after you. God, you're calling her to be like Mary who sat at your feet and rested in you and allowed you to mold her and allow you to shape her, allow you to form her into what you've called her to do. And Lord, I just see where, where she's been going in one direction, but Lord, you're about to veer into another direction, God. And Father, it may not seem comfortable. It may seem like she's out of her element. But Lord, I thank you that God, as she trusts in you, as she puts her faith in you, that Lord, she'll know that you are the guider. You are the leader. God, you're turning her ship a different direction than what she may have even had planned. But Father, I pray right now, put a rest in her spirit when the time comes that she won't wonder Is this really God? This isn't like me. This isn't anything of me. But I also see in the midst of that, you had a big disappointment. And God's going to heal where you've been disappointed. God's going to restore the place where you were disappointed. So that you can trust beyond trust. Where you can allow things that you have not allowed in your life because of that disappointment or you will trust again to allow those things to come into your life you are worthy of blessing you are worthy of honor you are worthy to receive that is set for you so don't linger in the place of disappointment but let the lord heal you restore to you all the joy that you deserve to have because so many times you have smiled on the outside but in the inside That disappointment is just breaking you. And the Lord is going to heal you. And he's going to use you in a great and powerful way.